Okay, guys, um, I'm going to do a soda stream demonstration for you guys. Um, I've been wanting to do that for a while. Um, and for those of you who do not know about SodaStream, um, it is a fantastic invention. And um, my husband got me this for Christmas, I believe, two years ago. And I've been wanting um, to do this video for a while just to kind of let people know about it that don't know about it. Or if you are thinking about getting one, um, maybe this will kind of help you to decide. So you've got your SodaStream maker. Um, or deal contraption, whatever you want to call it right here. And then I've got the one liter bottle that came with it um, right here. And then I've got four flavors. I've got um, orange. Um, this is Dr. Pete. It's going to be kind of like Dr. Pepper. Um, Fountain Mist, which is going to be like Mountain Dew. And then I have Cherry Cola are the four flavors I have right now. Um, they sell all of these at Kroger and Walmart and probably just about everywhere now. It's gotten to be very popular. And what's so great about these is um, if you look at the back of them, I believe every one of these which I don't know how good that's focusing, but they have 35 calories in um, eight fluid ounces. So way less than a regular soda. And for all those um, people out there who drink diet drinks, they are worse than regular sodas. I've had doctors tell me that you would be better off drinking a real soda or nothing at all because diet drinks have aspartame in them, which is very, very bad for you. It's like poison for your body. Some people have sensitive uh, reactions to aspartame, um, as do I, so I can't even handle a lot of um, aspartame. And these have no aspartame. They're going to be way healthier than um, a normal soda. Um, they have none of the high fructose corn syrup, which comes in, um, you know, regular sodas. So, um, much healthier and way, way, way less, um, calories. So you could actually drink several glasses of this a day and come out less than a soda. So since I've been on my 90 day weight loss challenge, I have been, um, doing soda stream every day. I just drink one glass a day, um, cause I've got to have my soda fix. The orange doesn't have caffeine, but the other ones, um, that I have right now do. And one of these bottles, um, says, it makes the equivalent of 33 12 ounce cans or 58 ounce um, glasses of soda, which is a pretty good deal. And the Soda Stream Maker comes with the carbonation in the back. And I don't honestly remember how long um, this lasts. I don't remember how many glasses um, of soda you can make before you have to buy a new one of these. Um, this is going to be the expensive, the most expensive thing that you have to refill. I don't remember how much these are, but they're, they're a little expensive. I'm thinking maybe like $30 or $40. Um, honestly, I'm not sure because I've never had to replace mine. I have had, like I said, I've had this for two years. Um, I wasn't making soda stream regularly, but I have been lately, but still in two years I have made soda stream a pretty good bit and I've never had to, um, buy a new one of those yet. Um, and then the, um, soda stream flavors, they're usually around $5 a piece, but like I said, they last a while. And on the one liter bottles, you can actually purchase, um, I think they come as a set of two or you can get one or they even have travel bottles. Um, so yeah, they're pretty good. I just have the one bottle right now, but basically what you would do, um, when you're, you know, wanting to make you a drink, um, you take the one liter bottle and you fill it with cold water. You're if you, like, you're not never supposed to have warm water in it. So even when you get ready to clean it out, just clean it out with like cool water and soap. Um, I don't believe you can even put it in the dishwasher. Um, but anyway, I put water in it and you put it up to the fill line right here. And I usually put it in the refrigerator just cause I like my drinks extra cold. So I just always have um, water in the refrigerator ready to go for the next time. So as soon as I've used this and I've drank it all up, I'll clean it out, put water right back in it, put it in the refrigerator. But you don't have to do that. You can just um, put cool water in it and pour it over ice um, or whatever. So I'm just gonna do a quick demonstration for you guys. So basically what I would do is, and I'm dropping everything. Okay, basically what you'll do is, you lift this um, little black part back, you just pull it back, and it has a little um, thing that you screw the bottle into right here. Um, you just screw it in there. And then we're gonna press the button on the top up here. See if I can 
get y'all to see it. It's just a little button right up here. And you'll press it until you hear a loud buzz. And depending on how carbonated you want your drinks, um, um, you'll make it buzz more. I usually but make my buzz about three loud times and to me it gives just the right amount of carbonation. Um, it's close to a real soda um, as it can. So you'll just press it a bunch of times. Wait for the loud buzz. There's one. There's two. And there's three. And I'll just give it another quick press and then you'll push it out or press it and it releases you can hear all that carbonation in there and you unscrew the bottle and see if I can get y'all to see that then you'll just add um, whatever flavor you want I think I'm gonna do the fountain mist and what you'll do is you fill it to the top of the cap and everyone's different some people might not want to fill it completely up it, you know it'll make it a little bit sweeter the more you fill it up some people might be satisfied doing less I just do a cap full or almost right at a cap full and the a tip I have learned is I just pour a little bit of it in there at a time I never pour the whole cap full in the bottle at one time because it starts to fizz up and so many times I have had it fizz all the way up out of the bottle all over the table all over me and just made a big mess so that is the tip I've learned I just pour a little bit at a time until the cap is empty to save it for making a big mess. Sometimes I pour this, you know, pour this into the bottle over a sink um, just in case it kind of spews out everywhere. All right, and then you will put the top on it, it's pretty tight, and you shake it up. And yes, I know they always taught you not to shake up carbonated drinks because they'll explode, but this is the way you have to do the soda stream, unfortunately. Um, but I've learned the careful tricks of the trade to not make a big mess. Yeah, you just shake it up. Really good. And usually it says to let it sit there for about, I don't know, a minute or two just to kind of let some of the fizz die down so it doesn't spew out everywhere. So you can wait, a, you know, a couple of minutes if you're impatient like me I take like a rag or something and open it and close it back real quick just let some of that air out some of the fizz die down quicker you know if you don't feel like waiting and then you pour and ready to enjoy and it is not going to taste 100 percent like the real thing but pretty close like i was very very shocked how good it tastes now certain flavors taste better than others um some of them are more close to the real thing than others um, like the dr pete it tastes very very similar to the dr pepper i mean almost identical the orange to me tastes exactly like orange soda um, it is amazing how good it tastes. The fountain mist is pretty close to a Mountain Dew, not quite. I've actually not tried the cherry cola, which um, the traditional cherry Coke is one of my favorite sodas, and so I've been really anxious to try that. Um, I've had the regular cola, and it's really good. But like I said, this is a great alternative to a real soda for those of you out there addicted to soda like I am. Um, it tastes really, really good. You'll be surprised. Easy and quick to make, uh, way less calories, way healthier, none of the high fructose corn syrup is in it, no aspartame in it, and it's just, um, like I said, a great alternative to soda. Um, so yeah, it's a great investment to make if you want to go purchase one of these soda streams. I definitely would recommend it. Um, so if you have any questions about the soda stream, just leave some comments down below and I can answer them for you best I can. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will just talk to you guys later. Bye.